Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, dear friends, Advent marks the beginning of a new liturgical year for the Church. It is a reminder that as Catholics, our calendar is not centred on months and weeks, but on a person, the person of Jesus Christ. Our new year begins with preparations for his arrival. Many of us may look to that new year with feelings of relief after the trials and difficulties of these past months. Some of us will have lost loved ones or family members or experienced serious illness. Others will have lost jobs or income or even accommodation. All of us will have lost some human contact and companionship, sometimes to devastating effect. And all of us in the depths of the lockdown will have been deprived of the constant sacramental presence of Jesus Christ himself, who entered our world in order to be with us always. The entrance of Christ into our world is, of course, at the true heart of Advent. It is the season when the Church listens with new intensity to the call of John the Baptist, prepare a way for the Lord. So at this turning of the Church's year, it is a good moment to reflect on how each one of us can prepare that way for the Lord. How can we welcome into our homes and our lives the one who found no room at the inn? So as we begin the season of Advent, I would therefore like to make three suggestions about how we might use this time of preparation with a real sense of purpose. First must be the preparation of the heart. I'd like to encourage all who are able to do so to make arrangements to go to the sacrament of confession during Advent. I'm sure that, that now our churches will be opened again. There will be extra times for confession available in our churches during these next four weeks. I know that they will observe all the precautions to do so safely in the times of this COVID-19 pandemic. The sacrament of confession must be the very best way of making sure that our own spiritual houses are swept clean and properly prepared for the coming of Jesus. And second, the preparation of our homes. I would like to encourage you as a family to gather round an Advent candle to light the Advent candles in your home. Perhaps if you're able, in the traditional form of the Advent, Advent wreath with five candles. Each Sunday, an extra candle is lit until by the end of Advent on Christmas Day, all five are burning to welcome the light of the world, Jesus Christ, into our own homes. There's a special prayer for the lighting of the Advent candles each evening, which you can find on the Diocesan website. And there you will also find other Advent prayers, including the St Andrew's Christmas Novena. My third suggestion is inspired by the Holy Family. In the Gospel of St Luke, the Evangelist concludes his account of the Nativity with a beautiful story of the presentation of the Lord. Mary and Joseph and the infant Jesus go as a family to worship God at the temple. They're welcomed by the priest, Simeon. He blesses them and, inspired by the Holy Spirit, recognises the child as the light of the world. My eyes have seen your salvation, says Simeon, which you prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory 
to your people Israel. That beautiful tableau of priest and family united in the house of God is a model for us to this very day. Each time we come together as the family of God to celebrate the Holy Mass, we welcome into our lives and into our world the light of Christ, the light which brightens the darkness and reveals to all peoples the unfailing love of God himself. As we look forward then to a new year in our diocese, let us pray for the year ahead with all the changes and challenges that we shall face and to ask God's blessing on those we love and on everything that we do. Let us come together often as the family of God to greet and welcome his son, to welcome into our doubtful and uncertain world the constancy and certainty of his abiding love. May God bless you all.